in the background might be a little distracting. We'll see how this works. Hello, <laughs> welcome to Miss Strawberry Makes. Uh, this is a crafty podcast about knitting, crocheting, and sewing, and any other crafty shenanigans that I get up to. My name's Michelle. You can find me on Instagram as Miss Strawberry Short Girl. Um, and I have a blog, MissStrawberryMakes.blogspot.com, where usually I would put the show notes, but I'm probably not going to do that, so probably no sense in even mentioning that. Um, but if you have any questions about anything mentioned in this podcast, feel free to uh, leave a comment down below here on YouTube, and I will try to answer it as soon as possible. Um, well, welcome. Um, this is my new space. Uh, you will soon, well, like right away, notice I'm sure that I don't have my wall of yarn behind me anymore. Um, I still have my yarn, don't worry. Well, although I did do a big sort out, I gave a bunch of my acrylic yarn to Mima, um, and she's been busily working that up into different projects. So, um, yeah, this is episode 19, I think. I did check, but now I'm feeling fuzzy about it. I think it's 19. Mm -hmm. So it's been over three months, I think, since I made one of these last. So spring is well and truly past, and it is very much summer. Today is July 14th, I think. Sunday, July 14th, not sure. I'd have to look at my phone to be sure, and the phone is being a camera right now, so I can't. Um, yeah, so how have you all been? I've missed you. Um, I've heard from some of you that you've missed the podcast, so that was pretty sweet. Thank you. Um, it's nice to be missed, I guess. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of where to start. I haven't gotten a whole lot done. I haven't done any sewing. Um, it's been pretty busy with work, like regular nine to five work, not fun knitting work. Um, I did get a baby sweater done. Well, mostly done. I just have to sew on the buttons. It's right here. So I guess we could just go ahead and start with that. So let's just jump in. So here is the baby sweater. It is knit of um, Knit Picks Comfy Fingering, which is a cotton and nylon, I think, yarn. Super soft. Um, this color is peony. And it's just a little cabled cardigan for a little baby girl. Um, and I got some little wooden buttons to put on it. I thought that would be really cute. So, um, just gotta sew those on and then I can gift that little sweater. So, um, yeah, the pattern I used was, um, Debbie Bliss out of the Simply Baby book. It was just the, um, I should have brought that over with me, I think cabled sweater or pullover or something like that. And I just made it into a cardigan by just dividing the front and then... So that worked out nicely. I'm overall pretty happy with how that turned out. Um, it's been done for a little while, so I can't really remember anything in particular about it. It wasn't troublesome to knit at all. Um, just ended up being a little bit time consuming just because I have less knitting time now than I used to. Um, but yeah, overall I'm pretty happy with that and I think it'll make a nice little gift. So happy about that. Next, um, let's see, I have a half finished object, so one sock, um, this is the lavender, blooming lavender sock pattern by, um, Stone Knits, Charlotte of Stone Knits, um, yeah, I really love this, this, uh, yarn was a yarn pack, like, for the pattern from, um, one of my new favorite yarn companies, um, Yarn Love. So we'll 
talk more about that later, but so it was like the set of two half skeins of this color, which is, I believe, lupine. Uh, yeah, I think it is. And then the two contrasting minis of Majesty and I think the green was Martini, if I'm remembering correctly. Actually, yes, I think I have them here. Yep, Lupine, Majesty, and Martini, and these are all in the Cinderella sock yarn, which is 80% Superwash Blue Face Leister, is that how you say that? Um, wool, and then 20% Nylon. So look at her label, isn't that just the cutest? I love that label. Um, yeah, so... That. I got one done and I am on to the foot of the second one. Now for, and like I'm just now ready for the second half of the full skein of lupine. So okay when I was knitting this first one I disobeyed the rules. They, well the, what they advise you to do they advise that you go up the needle size than you would normally use when knitting the color work. And I thought, mm, eh, it'll probably be okay. And I did not do that. And I really should have because when I went to try the sock on after it was done, I could barely, like, barely get this part over my heel. Because it doesn't stretch as much when there's the little floats going across the back in color work. So, yeah, it was either I was going to pop one of those little strings or what ended up happening was I gave myself a horrible charley horse and my calf I like couldn't move for a couple minutes while I was in utter agony. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I must need more vitamins or something. I don't know. But <laughs> so I finally got it on then I almost kind of get it back off. So I don't know if I will actually re-knit this one or if after I block it maybe it'll stretch a little once it gets maybe I'll try putting it on when it's wet to see if I can stretch it out but we'll see so word of warning heed this advice go up a needle size when you're doing the color work they really mean it so anyway but I am really happy with ho how those are turning out so Yes, yes, yes. And they are in my cute little Peter Rabbit and Benjamin Bunny bag um, that Jackie of Via Joy Babupri on um, Instagram made. And we did a Beatrix Potter swap, and I will talk about that more later as well. So let's see. what. Well, next I will tell you about this, what I am working on. Um, so, uh, as I was telling you about Yarn Love Yarns, um, so Katie of Yarn Love Yarns, um, put an Instagram post out asking for, um, applicants to be the Yarn Love Ambassador for a month. Um, so a little program she's doing. So I was like, mm, I love her yarns. So I will, you know, see, hey. I'd be up for that. So um, she said yes. She chose me to be one of her yarn ambassadors. So I am the Yarn Love Ambassador for the month of July. So I'm pretty excited about that. So, sorry, my throat's a little scratchy. Just gonna take a sip there. Um, so um, she sent me a skein of yarn plus a mini to make a pair of socks. So all I need to do is just um, make the socks, take pictures along the way, share them with my friends on Instagram, and yeah, that's all. So not a bad thing if you ask me. Pretty fun. So, um, so she asked me if I had any ideas um, for like a theme for the sock club for my month, and I was like, naturally, I was like, mm, Beatrix Potter maybe. 
So um, I sent her some pictures and she was like, yeah, that's a good idea. So um, she worked up, dyed up a yarn based off of Beatrix Potter. So here is, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you will have already seen this beautiful yarn, but here is Beatrix by Katie of Yarn Love Yarns. I love all the greens in this. There's just so many greens going on. So pretty. And then the purples and a little bit of gold. Oh, it's just so nice. And then um, contrasting mini um, purple. And I think this one's called Arabian Nights. Yes, it is. So let's see. All tangled up, what the world? Tangled up and mangled up knots. Okay, so I am making a sock. I just started this. This is all I have so far. Um, and it took me a while to get to here, even. Um, went around and around trying to decide what I wanted to do with the yarn because it's just so special. I want to do something nice with it. So um, first I was going to do the Mabel Sock by So Sweet Violet. But yeah, so I even bought the pattern, was like gonna do it. And then I was like, oh wait, that's a toe up sock. And it uses the um, magic loop method with um, a cable, a double, a circular needle. Hello, words. Okay. Um, which I've never done either of those two things, toe up or using the circular needle. So I was like super intimidated and like, eh, I don't know if I can do that. Like, I don't know if my brain can handle that right now. So I just wanted something just relaxing and just, yeah. So anyway, so I decided to just do a regular top down sock. Um, then I was going to do one with like a more intricate pattern here and I just didn't like how it was working with the yarn. I wanted to be able to like really see the yarn and not be distracted by a pattern. So um, I went for just a broken rib instead. So it's like knit three, purl one on one row and then knit all on the other row. Um, and then like a twisted one by one rib for the cuff. And I am using, for the broken rib, I found that in um, Sandra Paul of Cherry Hearts um, Pick and Make Socks pattern, which is super handy. Um, excuse me one moment. So, yes. The reason that I did the broken rib, it was intentional um, because I found a picture of Beatrix Potter um, when she was a little older, further along in life. Um, it was, uh, she was with a man and it was something to do with the sheep um, that she was so involved with, those Herdwick sheep. Um, I don't know if she was giving a prize or receiving a prize that probably receiving because I know she won a lot of prizes but um so in the picture her skirt is about mid calf so you can see her socks that she's wearing in it with her clogs and um it look I mean it's kind of hard to see it's black and white it's old picture um but it looks like they're kind of ribbed so that was why I'm doing this and at first why I wanted to do a cabled one which the Mabel socks by so sweet violet has a delicate little cable going down it um is because the man she was standing next to had tall knee socks on and they were i'm pretty sure they were cabled um so i thought oh that'd be nice but then hers really look just basically ribbed so i thought the broken rib would be kind of nice for that so nice and cozy and i think she would approve of the simplicity that just shows off that beautiful yarn so that's my story about that so yeah keep an eye out for updates on those on instagram and go check out yarn love yarns they're amazing and you can get this sock kit it's already it's already out you can order it so 
yeah oh one other thing look at my cute little bag here i bought this from kayla marie of um angora moose she's on instagram and etsy is where i bought this um and i bought <laughs> a bunch of yarn from her too so i'll show you that too in the looky looky what i got which is really all I have left for you guys because this is the extent of what I've gotten done um, aside to my new space this took a lot of energy to to move everything around so um, yeah but this bag it's got Beatrix Potter fabric along with this pretty blue fabric with I don't know what those are on there yarn roll or something but this was a little extra that she stuck on there for me that little guy Little Peter Rabbit um, progress keeper. So thank you, Kayla. I love it. Um, yeah, so I'll just show you guys some of the yarn that I've gotten recently. And actually, I got some cute fabric too, so I'll show you that. Since we're already talking about her, let's go ahead and show you Kayla's yarns because they are beautiful. Yes, I have two, four, six, seven skeins. <laughs> she was having a sale. So, well, first, when I first saw her, I saw her from Instagram, and I think it was because she used to tag Beatrix Potter on something, and I follow that hashtag. Um, yeah, so it was just her saying, like, hey, gonna have a yarn, day, up, yarn update. Um, lots of them are inspired by Beatrix Potter. La, la, la. So... I, the picture is beautiful, the yarn, so I was like, oh, I gotta check that out. So I looked at her Instagram, it's beautiful, I love it, and so then I ran over to her Etsy shop and the yarn still there, so I had to buy some. So what I got that time were these, these four. So Kayla uses all natural things to dye her yarns. These are all just natural dyes. Um, and then she hand paints each one of her labels. And they're all different to go with the yarns. I mean, it's just, ah, that's coming apart. It's just so pretty, pretty, pretty. Just so much detail put into everything. So much love you can just tell so um this one is easter egger um and it is dyed with black beans and it was inspired by chickens the americana chickens who lay those pretty light blue eggs which i used to have some of them so they really do lay that pretty color egg so there's that and then also dandelion tea isn't that lovely and that was dyed with peony petals, and it was inspired by her love for medicinal plants. So just such a lovely soft yellow color. There was one called Babbity Bumble that like sold right out of my cart while I was shopping, and I was like, darn it, so I hurried up and got that one. Um, yeah, maybe she'll make more though. And then Juniper Titmouse. This is dyed with logwood and black beans, and it's inspired by the beautiful birds. That one's really nice. A grayish, like almost a taupe, purpley gray. I don't know. I'm bad at describing, but it's really a nice color. Um, and then this pink. Timmy Willie's Pink Pansies. Naturally dyed with avocado i did not know avocado would make pink yarn and it's inspired by beatrix potter of course because timmy willie was the country mouse and then she was having a 20 percent off everything sale after that oh actually at the same time as those four yarns i bought the bag and um double pointed needle cozy and the beatrix potter fabric so there's that but then after that um she was having a 20 percent off sale so i grabbed three more yarns so this one is bunny toes it's a lighter pink than this one um it's dyed with matter and black beans and then this one is english primrose and it's dyed with avocado as well but it is 
felt slightly different than that one. And actually, I think these three would look really nice together, like slightly faded, a fade, the ombre. And then lastly, Gloucester Skies, naturally dyed with black beans, inspired by the Taylor of Gloucester by Dietrich Potter. It's a nice gray. So really, any, any of these would look well together, like I love the pink and the gray. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with those lovely things, but I shall think of something. As of right now, I'm enjoying just seeing them and touching them and enjoying them being here with me. So next, let me show you Wild Rose Yarns. She is, Michelle of Wild Rose Yarn is one of my very favorite dyers. I know I've spoken about her before on here. But she had, um, for her June um, sock club, I guess it'd be, she had a sock club and a mini club, and they're like surprised. You know the theme, but you don't know what the yarn's gonna look like. So her theme for June was Cottage Garden, and I was like, I know I will love anything she makes, but especially anything she makes inspired by Cottage Gardens. So I got them both. <laughs> These are the minis. Aren't they just lovely? And they came with a little ladybug progress marker and a little bee lapel pin. Aren't they just lovely? I love them. And then also here is the sock club. So that was the cottage garden sock club. Um, it's got a little bee progress keeper, and then I love that mini with that, that beautiful yellow, almost like a green yellow. It's just so nice. And look at the speckles in that, in this one. So pretty. Then also, following on the cottage garden theme, she had these skeins, um, and this one is Forget-Me-Not. So nice. This one is, I believe this one's foxglove, but it's not written on here, so don't quote me. That's so nice. And then this one, I believe, is peony, but I could have that the wrong way around. But judging by what the flowers actually look like, that's my guess. Um, these are very much, very much alike, the sock club and the peony. Had a lot of the same colors. This one has some yellow in it, where this one has much less yellow, but like just speckles of it. But they are very nice together too. So that is what I got from Wild Rose Yarn. And then let me see. Oh, I think I forgot to show you. Um, also from um, Kayla Marie of Angora Moose, she gave me this little. Um, either flopsy mopsy or cottontail. I don't know if you can see that. Well, nope, I'm totally not even on the camera, am I? I'm sorry, it's not focusing. Yeah, it's not gonna focus. Botherish. Oh well. Anyway, thank you, Kayla, for the sweet surprise. I love it. It's so sweet. Um and then, okay, next, this actually was before those two orders. This was back in the spring, and actually I can't remember if I got it before my, or after my last podcast, um, so I may have already shown this in a podcast, but I simply can't remember. So I'm going to show you again if I did. This is my dogwood and dandelion, dandelion and dogwood, rather, yarn order. So I got a skein of the lovely, lovely cloud base in Married in Jeans. It's just so nice. Love it. Sandra of Cherry Heart is making a sweater or a cardigan out of this and it's so nice. I kind of wish I'd got enough for that, but oh well. And then, um, Penoir. And then 
aqualegia. I looked it up and I think that's what we would call columbine here in America. So, but isn't that nice? And one of these I had trouble buying in my cart because there was something up with like it wouldn't ship to my country for some reason. So, but I was so afraid of missing out on the other yarn. So I was like, well, I'm just going to check out just with what I got. But I told, like sent Amy a message or something explaining what happened. And she was like, well, I'll just pop that in your cart. And I was like, oh, well, you don't have to do that. So, but she did. She sent can't remember which one it was now, but one of these two, which were very nice together, aren't they? Um, but she sent that along just because she's so sweet. So thank you, Amy. Love it. So sweet of you. Again, not sure what I'm going to do with these, but you know that saying, you can't have your cake and eat it too. Sometimes it's just enough just to have something and not to eat it just yet. So, yeah can't have your yarn and knit it too. Or crochet it. Yeah, it's deep. But anyway, that is my yarn. Um, probably actually have other yarn that I got that I may or may not have shown you too, but I can't remember. So we're just going to stop there uh, before you judge me for how much yarn I buy. Um, but anyway, one other thing. Um, is this fabric that I got. So I will start with these. I found these at Walmart. They are so cute too. So um, they had a London Calling collection and the brand is Emma and Myla or Mila. I had never heard of that brand before. It must be a new one there. Um, but so little London buses. These are like pre-cut one yard Things, so I got two of them <laughs> and then this one is a really cute design too it's like all sorts of London city things iconic things oh this one's called London Calling Map so it's like, supposed to be like a map sort of so I got a couple of them and this one was called buses or bus naturally um, and then of the by the yard kind that you had to have cut, they had this with the little red phone booths. I got a couple of yards of that. As well as these adorable guards. Is that so calf Kidston? Love it. So probably at least one dress, I don't know. I've got enough for four dresses there, but I don't know if I need four London themed dresses when I already have a flannel one with red buses and black taxis on, and also one with the Calf Kidston London print, so we'll see. The guards one is definitely going to be a dress though. Um, and then also at Walmart they had this cute fabric with um, hot air balloons on it. It's got some gold on it too, which isn't really quite my thing. Which way is up here? This way is up. I just thought that fabric was so pretty. And the hot air balloons are just so fun. So yeah, I couldn't resist that. But um, also, Paper Chase has a line of Peter Rabbit items. Um, they're a stationery company. Um, I think they're from England because some of the things I wanted to purchase from them, it said like, sorry, this item doesn't ship to your country, but some things did, which was weird. So I placed the order of things that I could purchase, but like there was this cute little tin that I wanted that um, I was like, sorry, it can't ship to your country. And I was like, what? So I took a screenshot of it and put it on my Instagram stories and I was like, that's not very nice paper chase, just being funny. And um, my sweet friend Victoria, who's Wonky Stitches, who lives in England, was like, have it sent to me and I'll send it on to you. So I was like, what, really? She's like, yeah. So we did that. Um, I made a purchase and I ordered enough so that it was free shipping to her. So I'd only have to pay the shipping once whenever she sent it on to me. 
So she very sweetly sent that on to me. So thank you, Victoria. That just means so much. That's so sweet of you. So um, and in the package, she snuck in a few little items from her as well. So she sent me this sweet fabric. Look at that with the buses and the taxis and the Union Jack. So I absolutely love that. So not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. That's so nice. It's actually much nicer quality than those ones from Walmart. This is like real quilting fabric, it seems. So this is very nice. Thank you, Victoria. And then also she stuck in there a Peter Rabbit coin, which I've like always wanted one of these. I always see them on Instagram and I'm always like, oh, that's so neat that they have Peter Rabbit money. It's real money. Got the queen on one side, Peter Rabbit on the other. It's real money, but oh, I just love it so much. Like, how fun would that be to be like going through your change and be like, oh, there's Peter Rabbit, or oh, there's Jemima Puddle Duck, or whatever. It's just, England's just so cool. Sorry, that was probably really dumb, but yeah, no. Thank you, Victoria. That is so sweet of you. So, I need, I've been gathering things for a suitable thank you gift to send on to you. Um, but also, coming up, I already mentioned, is the Beatrix Potter Swap 2019. So, um, we did the swap last year, and it was a smashing success. So we decided to go ahead and do it again. And as of right now, there is one spot left open. We, um, cut, made it... A cutoff of 60 participants uh, because it's Jackie of um, Via Joy Babukri on Instagram and Kristen of Bobby Pin Bandit um, and myself. We are doing the Beatrix Potter Swap together, so we'll divide the groups up. So we'll each have like 20 people to take care of, and um, so everyone will be paired with a partner. They'll get their partner information on July 28th, Beatrix Potter's birth date, and so then they can begin making. And they will make at least one Beatrix Potter inspired item, and they can purchase two other items, all Beatrix Potter themed, of course. And then, um, I believe it is, if you're shipping internationally, which is an option, you need to ship on the 2nd of September, and if you're shipping within the same country, the 9th of September. So giving those international ones a little bit more time to jump across the pond. So we are super excited to already have 59 people signed up, and the signups just opened like July 5th. I think so it filled up really quick but yeah so as far as I know there's still one spot left very well could be taken even as I speak or by the time I upload this it very well could be taken too but yeah so if you're interested and if that spot's still open and if well sometimes people back out too so it's always worth it to go ahead and check but the link to the form to sign up is in each one of our um, Instagram bios so yeah, just check that out. Um, I think that is about all I have for you guys. Um, yeah, life has just been kind of crazy and busy and not much time for making, but plenty of time for buying apparently, because that's all I do now is buy yarn um, faster than I can knit it up. <laughs> but um, yeah, so how are you all? How are you? I don't know. I hope you're well. I hope you are enjoying summer. I hope you're not melting. It is in the 90s here today. Thankfully, I, we have air conditioning because I was not made for hot weather. Um, yeah, but thanks so much for watching. Um, if you're a return viewer, thanks so much. It means so much uh, to have you come back to visit with me and if you're a new viewer thanks for trying me out and if you like what you see go ahead and feel free to subscribe um yeah so i think that is about all i have to say 
any questions, feel free to pop them in the comments, or you can always direct message me on Instagram, too. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and happy making. Bye.